This painting attracts a lot of eyebrow raises to this day, since it's so... weird. But as we all know, a picture is worth a thousand words, and the story behind this one will make you second guess every painting you ever see again. The shadowy monster, Cupid, and six pregnant ladies aren't the greatest combo ever to try and understand. And also, is that Lisa Kudrow? Sorry, got distracted. This beautiful painting has a very dark element that most people won't catch with their bare eye. We're curious, will you? Stick to the end to find out. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to give this video a thumbs up. Back to the painting. This painting, commonly known as La Primavera, which means spring, is created by Sandro Botticelli, not his real name. It's actually Alessandro Di Mariano di Vajani Filippi. Oof, I'll settle for Botticelli. So, Botticelli is actually a nickname given to him, meaning Little Barrel, since it was believed he worked as a goldsmith before he started working as an artist. But, as we're all familiar by now, his goldsmith career wasn't the thing that made his name hang in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. The painting portrays several mythological figures in an orange grove. However, the meaning of this portrayal has been unclear for centuries, and for this reason, it has become widely debated by art historians over the years. There have been numerous interpretations assigned to it too, ranging from music and philosophical neoplatonic ideas to the literature and poetry of Dante, Ovid, and others. So, to say the least, there have been a lot of interpretations. For example, this Primavera painting has been viewed as a portrayal of what is beautiful, bountiful, and love-filled. It's actually believed that it was commissioned by one of the Medici family members, which was huge for Botticelli, finally having someone trust him enough to commission a painting. Oh, also, the Medicis were actually ruling Florence at the time, and to say the least, swimming in cash. So yeah, big deal. In Primavera by Sandro Botticelli, there are nine figures in a grass-covered landscape, an orange grove to be specific. It's hard to grasp where these creatures are location-wise, although between the trees, there appears to be a blue background denoting the sky and hints of land to the left and right in the middle ground. So it appears that we're on Earth, which is rare in Renaissance. Starting with the gentleman on the left, we have the Roman god Mercury, who's usually described as the messenger of the gods, distinguished by his particular taste in footwear and a helmet for whatever reasons. He's holding his wand, twirling and swirling while keeping the clouds at bay, allegedly. There are three dancing female figures to Mercury's left, and they're known as the Three Graces, Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle. Kidding. Although maybe they were actually the Destiny's Child back then. Who knows? Their real names are Aglaya, whose name means shining one, Euphrosyne, which means joy, and Thalia, meaning flourishing. And they represent ideals of beauty, charm, and fertility, which explains why they're all pregnant. We move now to the center of the painting, which is where we see the gorgeous figures of Venus, the Roman goddess of love. She's pictured gazing at us with her strangely asymmetrical eyes as her left hand holds on to her red robes. Above her head is the well-known Cupid, who is blindfolded and pointing his bow and arrow towards one of the three graces. He's portrayed in the middle of his action, and we can see the tension on his face as he aims the arrow, about to shoot it. Now, at the right side of this painting is a story by itself. This is where it gets dark. The blue creature that we see emerging from the trees is Zephyrus, also known as the god of the west wind. Now, Zephyrus wasn't exactly the husband of the year, or should I say husbands of the year, since it was reported that he had multiple wives. After having a child with his wife, Iris, he gets himself into a new kind of adventure, the one Botticelli presented in the painting. Now, the woman he is kidnapping is named Chloris, goddess of spring. But Zephyrus didn't stop there. He actually transformed Chloris into Flora, who is actually standing right over here. Unusual, right? Basically, Chloris and Flora are standing together, where we can see the emotions of each of them. Chloris's eyes are filled with fear, while Flora's are filled with pride. Chloris is terrified of her unwanted doom, while Flora seems to be proud and happy. What is Zephyrus doing to these women? How is he brainwashing them to become the wife that he has always envisioned, without them complaining or showing emotion? He even changed her name and most likely their whole identity. Something's going on here, but it looks like everyone's too busy with themselves to even notice. 
It's interesting that Botticelli painted them side by side, which really makes us second guess every character, not only in this painting, but overall. This heaven-like creation is really not what it seems, hiding a crude story behind beautiful landscapes and attractive faces. What are your thoughts on this painting? And what do you think is going on with Zephyrus and his kidnapped wife, Chloris? Or should I say, Flora? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you never miss a post.